good morning happy new year it's the 4th of january today i'm not sure when it gets too late to uh, to say happy new year anymore um this is my first time out of the house today um i'm not being very well over the new year's eve and boredom and frustrations kind of forced me out today um I'm not being very well, but we'll, we'll leave it there. Don't get your violins out just yet. But I fancied a bit of a walk this morning. Um, so I'm just coming to have a look at some of the floods just around the Rother. We're in the Rother Valley here. Um, and also coming to have a look at an intriguing tunnel and a hole that's appeared in a field just up the lane here. And this is the, for the Great Central Railway main line. We're in between Rennyshaw and uh, Killer Marsh. It's now the Trans Pennine Trail. I mean, I have seen it a lot worse than that this year. I mean, I drove through there uh, a couple of months ago when it was right up to and just coming over the road. So it's not as bad as it has been, but yeah, still a lot of water there, isn't there? I mean, you could go up any number of rivers up and down the country at the moment, can't you? And it's a similar story. Uh, and you see on the news, there's ones that are far worse than this. Um, but I have seen recent photos of the rather the last few days. It looks like it has gone down a bit now. Now for the story, this in, I think it's an intriguing story of this hole that's, uh, that's popped up in a field just, uh, just at the side of the Trans Pennine Trail. Now, a chap called Wayne who posted this initially, I think, on, um, on the Killer Marsh History Society group, I think that's the correct name, and it got shared around a few times. It got shared to a few of the Chesterfield Canal um, groups. Um, and this hole's appeared, and I'll show you, it's in this field just at the side. I think this is Forge Lane right where that dip is you know the dip in the trans pennine trail that really annoying dip with the missing missing bridge yeah and this hole's just appeared can you just see it there now that's private land um i know from that facebook post that the people who use that field don't want you going in there so i'm not going in there and i'm not um encouraging other people to go in there so please you can see the hole from the path here but it's not just any old hole and this is the thing that intrigued me it looks like it's a tunnel in there it's brick lined and there's stories from people that have been commenting on this facebook 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 post that they used to go through that tunnel years and years and years ago so what is this tunnel this mystery tunnel where does it come from where where does it go and that's why i've come for a look this morning and this is the little area of land i just want to have a, a little scout around on the ones where we can the, the areas we can legally scout about that is so let me bring you just back onto the Trans Pennine Trail. If you know, if you know this area, you'll know this little bit I'm talking about. That annoying little dip with the missing bridge that's always got the puddle at the bottom. And there's a little crossover of paths here, isn't there? And if we look, just just have a look at these old maps. Um, so if we look at that, there's a little road. That that lane, Forge Lane, comes underneath the railway where that bridge was there, and went up here. It clung to the side of the railway line here. Godo, come on. And it went up. So we're walking on that old, well, it's not a road, is it? It's a little track. And I went on that direction. We're gonna, we'll just keep, just keep that in mind because we're gonna go and see that a little bit further up in a short while. But I just wanna bring you down here. And this is something that's not on the old maps. And I think up here, what I'm going to show you now is something related to that tunnel. It's a purely a guess. I can't find any maps of this tunnel. Why would it be on any maps? It's not on any old maps. Come on, you get tangled up. And you can hear, well, I don't know if you can hear it or not. You hear running water. It's coming from over in this direction. 
we're only about 30 yards away wow i've never seen water in this and i don't come up here a lot but come here i've been up and filmed this me, me and phil are putting together a video of this area at the moment um, so i have done some filming around here already i've never seen water in that now now i think that that I, I, like i say this this is only a guess um it lines up you're perfectly aligned with where that holes appeared in that tunnel i think that's where that starts i should probably explain just the other side of there is that's the old canal root of the old canal i don't think that section's but well, i know for a fact it's disused i don't know if it's got any water in it at the moment i don't know where that water's coming from but it's going underground isn't it there definitely going underground but where does a tunnel go what what is it for now there is a couple of theories i mean people will probably know this i'm probably going to sound foolish asking these questions when someone explains it in the second comment on this video um, but that, that's a Chesterfield Canal there, obviously. That's been disused since early 1900s when the Norwood Tunnel collapsed. But it's got a bit more of a history than that because the original route of the Chesterfield Canal, I'll show you when we get round there, split away. And that's the Brindley Loops, that's the windy bit. When the railways came, 1890s, they realigned uh, the canal into the straight section that you walk alongside today. I'm going to go and just the other side um onto the canal towpath and, and just have a look right so we're just up on the old towpath now the answer to my question a few moments ago i, I don't walk down this side because it's normally quite grotty to be honest but the answer to that question is yes there is water in there i don't know if it's always got water in there that is disused it's quite smelly it's quite unpleasant i can hear flowing water so right i'm not far off now where that little um i'm gonna call it a little spill we are can hear running water on both sides of me right so that's that spill weir just down there look on the left hand side so now we're up the top it is an overflow for the canal isn't it so was that built into the canal when the canal was built is that what's happened there in fact i can see there's 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 water coming down on the other side of the canal from somewhere as well. So I think there's a there's a fishing pond, isn't there? Just just the other side of there. So is that an overflow from there? Intriguing. Well, I find it intriguing anyway. You know, the fact that there's a there was a tunnel underneath an area that I, I've explored quite extensively. I, I was really really intrigued to know where that tunnel was going and what 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 it was for. So where does it come out? I still don't understand that. Does it just go down to the river? Is it just an overflow for the canal? Or was it something to do with an overspill going down to the old route of the canal? I really don't know. Someone's gonna know. Someone's gonna know the area, gonna know the history a little bit more about what this little, little weir was for and where the tunnel went. So as always, just drop me a, drop me a comment. Uh, let me know. I'm stepping up off the old disused canal now so this bit here where we stood here this is probably just worth uh, mentioning as well again just looking at the old maps and this is noted as as Boyley Bridge now Boyley Lane is just at the top of what's now this public footpath uh, and it goes up you can go up Boyley Lane up into where up the top end of Killamarsh but looking at the maps it doesn't look like it follows the same route as it does today now it goes down over near the railway line and into Boyley Farm but originally it came down here this used to be Boyley Lane and like I say the old maps this was Boyley Bridge how long's this uh, piece of tree been stuck to my head and I said didn't I um, just make note of that little road uh, a couple of couple of minutes ago and this is uh, this is where that road would have come up. I think it's all been reprofiled now, hasn't it? And just at the bottom here is the Trans Pennine Trail. It's the railway line. Um, let's just reverse these gate posts. Nice little cuckoo way. 
sign there so that you know you're on the cuckoo way so right so this was boiler lane this is boiler bridge that we would have been stood on right this second disused canal that way going into killer marsh disused canal that way going out towards rainy shore excuse me come back no don't come back that way you have to come back through you have to come back through that's it good boy no we're not going that way Go through the style so I can I can follow you. Go on. Right, let's walk down the canal. On the towpath, so I have covered this. It was a while ago, wasn't it? it? Must be must be coming up to three years ago since I, I made the video about the disused Chesterfield Canal. I think there's some, some mileage more mileage to get out of that, to be honest. The little sections I'd like to come and redo. But um well, we were just talking just um a short while ago weren't we about when i said that when the railway came they realigned the canal and i don't know the exact spot so there's boily bridge just there can you see just behind me there and we're just about to curve around to the left and join the railway line that's just coming up from that side but originally the railway Sh uh, sorry, the, the old canal shot off that way. I got some drone footage of uh, where the, the former route of the canal went, and I think it just goes off through those the tree line at the other side of the Trans Pennine Trail. It's hard to see from here because there's so many trees. Now that bit of the uh, the old alignment of the Chesterfield Canal, so that's the original 17, uh, 1770s route of the canal that went off down there. But unfortunately, that little bit of a section until the Brindley Loops footpath is on private property. It's not got a public footpath through there. So that's not a section of the canal I've actually explored myself. But we'll just carry on walking down this, this towpath here just until it straightens out with the railway line ah, which has just happened so it's not far is it from Boily Bridge to where the canals, canal and the railway meets well I, well I thought that was intriguing anyway um, and to be honest you see these little nuggets things that appear on Facebook little news stories appear on Facebook and it's only when you start studying maps and looking into it a little bit more that it starts to there's more layers um, start to unravel you know more, more bits of interest that spike up on it for me you know what I ummed and ahed and whether or not to come out today I wasn't feeling great I thought I'm gonna come out I can always turn back if I don't feel don't feel like it can I and I'm really glad I did because I actually feel well I don't feel okay but um, it's nice to be out I'd only be sat on the settee I can't walk past this without pointing a camera at it I'm sorry just love that masterpiece left alongside of the footpath in the old one signal great central railway there you go Jim That's, that one's for you you want to walk down the railway or do you want to walk down the canal, Gordo? Don't drink out of the puddle, it's dirty. Look at that. 
after all, I'm, I don't think I've ever seen so much water um, all the times I've been coming down this way in the old canal there. It actually looks like a canal, doesn't it? With the water in. That's great. It'll be interesting to see if that holds, how long that holds the water for. I don't know what the, the lining's like on the, on the old bottom of the old canal. I don't know how long it's not had water in it for. But I do love, I, I do love this section. This was my go-to route when I used to be doing a lot of running. I used to run up and down here a couple of times a week. Um, I think this bit's called, it's called the Straits. And obviously, this alignment of the canal, the perfectly straight alignment of the canal, was built by the railways. When the Great Central Railway was built in the 1890s, they built, they realigned the canal alongside of it. You can hear all about in that video I did on the Brindley Loops a couple of years ago. So, so just a quick shout out, thanks to all my channel members, anyone who supports me, anyone who buys me a coffee, anyone who sends me a super thanks, all the names are flashed on the screen here, really is appreciated, it really does go a long way to what I try to do. So as always, cheers for watching, take care, we'll see you soon.